Podcast. This is season three, episode twenty-three. My name is Mike. I am your host, and I'm alongside Kelly and Brian. Welcome to Chicken. Hola. Long time no doing? see. I know. How about that thunderstorm last night? I don't know if everybody's getting Whoa. crazy weather across the states, uh, but it was pretty bad last night. Woke up at five a.m. with a massive thunder shock, and uh, let's just say that everyone was sleeping in the bed by five. So like <laughs> our kid. Both dogs, the cat, my wife. <laughs> it was uh, it's a nice snuggle time from five to six. <laughs> Did you have a slipper party too, Brian? No, most of us don't uh, aren't bothered by lightning. In fact, it makes me sleep better. So nice. Cats don't <laughs> care about it. <laughs> You're like, God, yes, I can sleep. And everybody <laughs> else is like, I can't sleep. Uh, so. so um, I wanted, to guy, I wanted to update you guys. Uh, we talked last time about Tears of the Kingdom, and I said I was going to give you guys more of an update once I played a little bit more of it, just because you know I want to want to test it out myself, see how it goes. I so I will say, uh, and I'm not going to spoil anything uh, again. No, oh, please. If you're interested in the game, spoil. No, no, no. If you're interested in the game, go play it. Um, but I will say, I am really, really enjoying it. Uh, if I had to rate it right now. I would say it's at least a nine out of ten. Oh, so um, nice to hear. And I and I know I, I say that, but it's it's so far. Uh, like I said, if it keeps going the way it does to finish the game out, um, it's been great. Like the so within Zelda, there's always typically there's always um, a quest to get the Master Sword because Link usually will start with it and something happens and then he has to go find it. It's like every time. Uh, so in this game, same thing, you start off with it, something happens, uh, within the first few seconds of the game, uh, the master sword disappears and then you have to go find it. Well, and then this disappeared. Well, it's, it's not much of a spoiler. The box art shows you what happens to the sword. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, uh, so it's gone. He doesn't have it. Um, well, as I'm saying, he doesn't have it. Like, it's not like he can, he keeps it broken. Like he doesn't get it. So then, uh. So the, the story arc to get the Master Sword is considered one of the, the main story lines, right? There's multiple uh, main quests, but that's one of the story arcs. And that story arc revolves around what they call memories. Uh, so in the first game, there was memories where if you went to um, certain spots of the map, there would be a, a, a thing you can interact with, and it would like play a memory of like something that happened. And so in this one, um, there's these huge hieroglyphic like symbols across the map that you can see from the sky and they look kind of go like yellow it's almost like they spray painted yellow like spray paint on the floor on the ground and uh when you get there somewhere in that design is a little puddle that contains the memory so you have to like fly over there search it out and the thing is so i figured if you look up from the top like you could see look down and see it but you have to be within like i don't know a couple of feet from it for it to actually show up so if you're flying over you don't see it but one little tip that i did notice and three times out of the times that i looked for all of them um typically if the color if like it's like a teardrop shape like a little icon that's like a teardrop part of this like design and it's like when you're above and you see it and it's solid like the color is completely solid not an outline most likely that's where the memory is at so just keep that okay um so there's like 10 of these around the map and it does take some time because some of these areas you have to like wait till later to get to and so forth, so on. Uh, but I will say after completing all the memories to get the, the master sword, essentially. Wow. Um, just wow. Like I'm, I'm a sucker for time travel and, and time, anything games. Uh, and that's kind of like why Ocarina of time to me and Majora's mask were so, deeply enriched in my my history of gaming is because of the fact that I just love time, like the whole thing about moving time and what could happen and all that stuff. Uh, so obviously this game does that. You even have an ability, right? Like you can slow time back and re re rewind it. I guess what you call it. Rewind is the, the thing. Um, but ultimately, yeah, it's, it was super cool. I, I I was mind... I think actually I picked up the phone. I called you, Kelly, because I was like, mm -hmm. oh my God, I know I can tell you the spoilers because you don't care. I care, but... but I but I was like, God, you have to listen to this. And I was just like, wasn't that awesome? Right. Right. And you're like, yeah. Well, to be to be fair, you called me and I was like, I'm not I can't answer right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I then to call sorry. You. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm fucking working. But, yeah. yeah. So anyway, that's my update. Um, super solid game. I've been 
dealing with some of the physics building and I'm just terrible at it. Um, I've, I wouldn't say I've looked at the build website yet because I haven't, but what I have been watching is a lot of the YouTube uh, videos. There's like a couple channels that have made like montage videos of like people submitting their builds yeah. and just watching some of the crazy things that people make. And like, it just keeps getting worse. Like they, they can, they each, each patch, there's some new glitch that they figure out that like, it controls the physics differently. Like I saw one the other day that um, they're able to fuse an item to their shield, but it doesn't actually latch. So then when they pull the shield out, it actually activates whatever they're trying to use. So then he has the ability to like shoot at will. Like he can like, all right, shoot, shoot, shoot. Like it's, or move, like move the device or whatever. So it's, it's just crazy. Like, I just, I don't know how people think of this crazy stuff like that, but man, it's, it's so interesting to watch, but anyway, playing through it, still doing, having fun. It's been great. So that's and loving favorite. it. Sounds like, yeah, that's fantastic. Definitely. More than breath of the wild. We'll say, whoa, that's serious. Yeah. So uh, just real quick before we jump on into the good stuff. Um, <laughs> so I, uh, yeah, no, no, no. I mean, uh, the other good stuff. Um, this is probably really boring for most of you guys, but I, I have a feeling you'll like this and you, you may know this already, but, um, <clears throat> I learned from a PC gamer article that references a PC world article <laughs> about an emergency, like last resort, restart your PC shortcut and it's apparently been around since windows vista we all know uh control delete right yeah and then if, if you're if, if you're in a, a shit position sometimes it it's it's not going to work anyway like if you it, like if first of all if you can't your keyboard can't even you know it'd be recognized by your pc you're you're effed in the a anyway so <laughs> there's nothing else other than like pulling the plug or the uh, power button. Um, but if you do try to just restart your computer, control, delete, restart, um, it tries to do some other stuff, right? To like gracefully shut things down. Um, and sometimes that works and sometimes that doesn't. But if your keyboard is still recognized and you control alt delete, if you press control on your keyboard and using your mouse on the bottom right corner, press the power button on the screen with your mouse, that's your emergency restart. And it will tell you only use this as a last resort, blah, blah, blah. Are you sure you want to do it? And I was like, what? Like, I this is going to be like, as long as I have access to my keyboard, I this is amazing. Did you guys know this? I had no freaking clue. In the, the, I, I've never heard of this. I yeah. actually have. Okay. Of course you did. Well, well so. I've troubleshot a, a series of my own PCs that don't work. And okay. Then, and that was... Having to look up every single thing that I can possibly do. I actually have another good one. Um, if things are being weird like that, uh -huh. you just uh, you go up to it and you basically just do like this. <laughs> Yeah, and then, pull the plug. That's, and then you plug it back in about 30 seconds later. That's the other one. Or, it'll probably work. <laughs> if, if you're like me and you have a laptop, um, uh, you have to unplug it and then just Let wait it for die. it to die. <laughs> that's the it's worst funny. fucking it's thing. It's so funny. This morning, I had the same thing. I went to work and turn on my laptop. Mm -hmm. And it, usually it's already on. Like it's plugged into the docking station. And I hit the power button. And nothing. nothing. And I hold the power button. Nothing. Unplug the adapter thing hit the power button nothing like let it i had to i just let it air out <laughs> i guess you could say for like 30 <laughs> <Air> minutes <laughs> and uh because i was texting my boss room like, i'm gonna probably have to go into work like i'm gonna have to drive in to go yeah. get a new laptop or something and uh i come back and i hit it again and it turned on i was like God, this laptop Thank but it also has a stupid bug where like every time it boots for the first time after a reboot it as soon as my outlook launches and like comes up and everything looks great it goes into sleep mode Every time, no, every single time. So it goes completely down, and when I hit the power button, it shows like the logo for Dell again, like it's powering up for the first time, and then it just launches right back into where I was at. Shut like, up! Oh, that would make me 
fucking crazy. It's every time I reboot my PC, it's the same thing. It's like, I'm just like, what the hell is wrong with this thing? But, well, yeah. okay, so so speaking of shortcuts, um, so the PC Gamer article is, um, did you know there's an, there's been a hidden last resort emergency restart button in Windows since Vista by Dave James? Um, I just read it earlier today, uh, but he also um, cites some other great useful shortcuts so if you need to restart your or reset your graphics driver win control shift b will restart it reset it huh. that one i didn't know um so screen grab mike you taught me about this uh windows shift and s and you can screen capture anything on your pc um, and now they have the clipboard with Windows 11, I think, and 10. I don't know if you're so, going to mention that, but that's something to, to note as well. That's yeah, one. Windows V. Mm -hmm. Windows V. Windows V. So, but I think you actually have to, there's, well, it used mm -hmm. to be that you had to, to make a change to allow it yeah. to capture. Okay. Yeah. If you yeah. do it for the it first time, it'll say, this isn't a, do you want to do this? Yeah. Yeah. That, works. that so that is one that um, he talks about here, but that is my, that's one that I have used since like mm -hmm. 2018, 2017. Yeah, I needed that for notes at work and copying him into support tickets and stuff. Oh, it was my jam. It's like, oh, your PDF doesn't allow me to copy anything. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. <laughs> yeah. I, the, the problem is too many people know that one. Mm. Because... I have too many people that are just like, you know, oh. grabbing screenshots of stuff where text like, like, oh, that's really great that you sent me this thing about 15 IDs that you need checked <laughs> and you did a screenshot of them instead of like, just copy no, over. Yeah, I know that feeling. That's... Yeah, that's that's always fun. So yeah. I when they when they screenshot a wall attacks like you're like, Come yeah, on. yeah. So there's a, back in a thing I've done with my phone. I'll have to look it up. This is a, my iPhone. This is an iPhone thing in Notepad. And they're, they're like Notepad thing. You can actually take a picture and then convert it all to text. And I've yeah. had to do that and then send it to myself <laughs> via email. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so uh, there was that. What, what else? Um, I guess those were the. Oh, if you want to do add emojis in you, to pop up your emoji uh, keypad, it's uh, Windows in the plus sign or Windows uh, Windows plus period or Windows plus semicolon. So I thought that one was kind of cute. And I if you really, semicolon. I need the period. If you really want to fuck with somebody, you can, and they've walked away without doing. Uh, uh, Windows L to lock their PC. I know we all know this one. Um, then you can change the um, keyboard <laughs> layout uh, to be Windows plus space, and that'll fuck with them. Really, switch switch the language on the keyboard, and then that's really... a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. So. It's always interesting when I'm working with someone that's not using a US keyboard, and oh. like they're typing something, and I'm like, are you? You're, you're trying to type like a, a slash, right? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, you're using a different keyboard layout, aren't you? And they're like, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I got you. US keyboard, yeah. got it. Um, but yeah, so we, uh, like most people, probably, hopefully, we watched the uh, Summer Game Fest um, a couple weeks ago, week of, last week, something like that. Yeah. I don't know. It was some time second. before today. It's been a long couple of weeks, but anyway, a um, lot of new games were highlighted. Uh, a lot of games uh, were updates uh, for games that we're waiting on. Um, we saw some new things as well. Um, there was also a Microsoft uh, showcase along with uh, what Brian told me earlier, Starfield Direct uh, instead of Bethesda Direct because uh, they had to just talk about Starfield. <laughs> um, and there was also, I think, uh, Ubisoft, I think I watched, and there was another one for, like I think, Capcom and... Um, yep or Namco or something. So there's just a lot of announcements last week. Um, so we're just going to kind of go over some of our highlights, some of the games that really stuck out to us and, and what we're looking forward to. And uh, yeah, so in case you missed it, here we go. All right. Well, I mean, so. it was nice. I mean, because E3 went away, so yep. we had that hole. Luckily, Key 3 came about, and, <laughs> and uh, so Jeff Keeley was able to 
push all that together for us. I I, I think uh, one of the ones that surprised me that I knew was coming out because they said it beforehand, but the footage was just insane. Was the Mortal Kombat one? Yes, the, agreed. The, I, the fatalities looked insane. Just the uh, they they also had another thing. It wasn't a fatality, but it was they go into x-ray vision and they show the bones breaking and stuff like that. And it's just like, it's just a big hit and it is completely disgusting. Uh, you know, spears going be. through their spine and shattering. Bones. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's going to start. Um, again. Sorry. Asking for a friend. What's a good age for someone to be start playing mortal Kombat? I mean like 10 13? Yeah. 10 at the earliest. I would say. Especially <laughs> nowadays. So not, not three. It's no, probably realistic. not three. I would definitely say not three, well, Mike. Well, well, I'm saying <laughs> not have... I'm, I'm talking about the old Mortal Kombat. Oh, not, the old. Not... You still, you still like need five or six or seven at least, just because yeah. the amount of manual dexterity needed to do stuff in that is. is okay, so insane. so what about Virtual Fighter Two? <laughs> That's pretty much the same. It's not as graphic, but anyway, I would, my, my son's I, I would, I this. wasn't talking about the graphic. I wasn't talking about how graphic or gory it was. I was talking about the manual dexterity of, I, uh, on the controller. I'm going to talk about the graphic. Sorry like, to derail this, but no, um, I actually got him to play Sonic and Knuckles. <gasps> what? And he, he beat the first level himself. He beat the boss. I could not believe it. Like, from start to finish, got to the boss and beat it. And I was like, that's okay. kind of impressive. <laughs> Uh, was this on? So was this on um, the on little Sega. thing that we? Oh, it's on your Sega. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't know if it was on the 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 thing that we talked about that's got all the games on it. Oh no, it's okay. well, it's kind of sorted. It's it's one of the Sega Genesis. Um, the mini like, thing. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, the yeah, license yeah. thing where you can like it has preloaded games, but mm -hmm. it but the one I have actually has the ability to plug in a cartridge too, and also controllers from Sega. Yeah. So it's pretty neat. Like I can play whatever I have, or I can literally just play what's loaded. So pretty cool. Anyway, sorry to derail you there, but Mortal Kombat one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it it looks good. I, I think one of the interesting things that they had was the cameo system, which is uh, you press a button and sometimes put a different input, like a direction, and your cameo because you pick your main character and you pick a cameo character. So like. You play as like, uh, you know, Scorpion, and then you have like Jax, uh, and it's old school Jax when he actually had two human arms, you know, back in you know Mortal Kombat, uh, you know, the original trilogy, or, and he comes out and does a special move and does this attack and it goes away, and it's just, it, it's it's kind of cool because it really adds on to the uh, the it's moveset almost... apparently. It's almost like Marvel versus Capcom, except <clears throat> you don't get to play as the second character. It's just like a yeah, because it isn't a tag out system. Yeah, it's they just come in for uh, you know do a quick I move feel like and then they're back out. There was another game that did that mm -hmm. long time ago. I don't remember what it was. I have to think on that. But yeah, I do remember something similar to that, where like you build something up and then someone could like come in and I have to think on that. There there was a game that did that. Interesting. Yeah. But that's a cool they, concept. Yeah apparently have uh you know even better training now than they've ever had and, and mortal kombat's been known for the last several games of having good training to be able to you know like show you what iframes are and you know but the training apparently goes even further beyond it with like not just how do you do um a particular move but when you should do it and so the the training in this looks like it's gonna be pretty good and which That's is cool. kind of the same with Street Fighter Six too, which which is already out that it's supposed to have really good training in it. So it's nice that they're kind of bringing in more of the non-fighter gaming crowd. You know why? It makes sense because it's a yeah, it's a limited audience that they had. They need to increase their audience. Right, because all of the gamers who grew up on Mortal Kombat, uh huh, are are getting older and probably aren't buying and playing those games as much anymore because we have other things going on. So they're trying to train yeah. the new generation that wants and to then play fighting games and get them into it. We're going to see them playing them and then we're going to want to play with our kids. So Yeah. No. And no. apparently both games <laughs> have, uh, for lack of a better term, an easy button feature where um, 
you could bring this game out during a house party, you know, like the, you know, the before times when we used to physically all go over to a house and play video games. What? Uh, <laughs> and, uh, uh, the nice thing about the easy feature is like you could just mash this button and you could do a pretty decent combo that looks really cool. So without you're saying knowing what you're doing. So you're saying my three year old can play. Uh, yes, but, but not shouldn't. yet. But not yet. And also, <laughs> and also that's not training any of the good moves. So actually, what's interesting is um, I don't know about I don't know if they've ever changed this. I'm guessing they did, but. In the first Mortal Kombat, the original on Sega or whatever platform I guess you played on because they released Arcade. all different, um, they didn't have blood in the game. Like you had to type in the blood code, A B B A B. -A. Oh <laughs> shit! Um, I have not even thought wait. about that in probably thirty years. No, it's A B A C A B B <laughs> A B A C A B B. Um, but anyway, the blood, blood code, code, and then you would enable the blood for the game, so like it could be very violent. So I don't know, did they ever change that, or is it like when you play Mortal Kombat now, there's just blood, right? Like I think there's just blood game. now. Yeah, it's just part of the yeah. game, right? Am yeah, I am I wrong, Brian? Right? Yeah. yeah. I wonder if <laughs> I wonder if even if uh, MK2, I think MK2 actually had blood, so maybe they just changed it from the first game. But anyway, it was interesting because like he was playing it the other day, he found it on the game, and I was like, oh great. And he's like, I want to play this one. And I'm like, ah, okay. And but he's just, you know, he's just punching and kicking. I'm like, ah, whatever. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> and this is all pretend, bro. This is pretend. Don't be kicking anybody. <laughs> oh man. Uh, one of the things that I saw that was actually um, entertaining to see it, to see that it's still going is uh, the new Cyberpunk expansion, um, Phantom Liberty. Uh, it looks very good. Um, it, it looks. The so good. Really good. I know it looks so Actually, good that it almost it, makes me want to go back and like reinstall it. <laughs> but I, I don't know. <laughs> like it's uh, apparently with this update, they've reworked and rehauled a lot of the core game uh, on top of adding in like the DLC with like the new character, like the new Idris Elba character and all that stuff. Mm. Uh, so I'm, I'm interested to see how it performs now uh, after this release is out. I may go back and boot it up and, and check it out again, but yeah, Tears of the Kingdom is in right now <laughs> the story is supposed to be so big that people are saying that it's almost like having a sequel instead of just wow. you know, like instead of just a like update you know that could happen um i mean look what hello games with no man's sky i mean they released yeah. i mean the situation is a little different for them but again they got a lot of flack when the game came out it was terrible and then you know they, they look at them they're releasing i don't even know what what it, um, expansion they're on now but they just released another one <laughs> like yeah. They just constantly keep releasing updates. It's like through the roof now with reviews. Like it's crazy. I thought I thought the interesting thing was not that they brought Keanu Reeves back, but just that he sounded so off. Like I I honestly thought like did they just deep fake Keanu Reeves? <laughs> oh here? my god. Really? No, like, if you, what? If you have not seen it, you need <clears> to I did see not it see that. Listen to his voice. Because his voice is just like, like a little weird and a little off. Not the way he's saying things. He's kind of like typical Keanu Reeves. But I don't, I don't know. Maybe he just had a cold that day or oh, something. Oh man. Okay. Because um, he like because that's been a really big meme recently. There, there's a there's a huge there's a Twitter whole account TikTok account uh, about yeah no it's yeah, TikTok yeah. that's right yeah it's it's it, is it deep fake. Keanu or something some, it's it's yeah it's, oh my god yeah it's hilarious it's totally hilarious it's like Keanu doing all this weird yeah, stuff like, like cleaning the house yeah, or something yeah. and doing squats uh, while he's vacuuming like <laughs> yeah it, 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 I, I like was cleaning the toilet I was, like, did, I was like did they hire the deep fake guy to do yeah this? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it was no, just really weird. no. Uh, so um being a horror fan uh, John Carpenter's Toxic Commando looked <laughs> looked fun. Um, the zombies, it, it, I it, Mike, your shirt is like oh, yeah. right on target. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Um, I thought about giving this to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe I, I still will. I'm yeah. Just <laughs> um, I straight off my back. <laughs> you're so kind. Uh, the zombies are. I mean, zombies just keep getting faster and faster as time goes by right and but then them holding on to the truck and stuff like 
Yeah. And not being just, like, a horror, one, but like yeah, a dozen holding on to your truck, yes. and you get to like lean out and shoot them <laughs> yeah. and stuff. And the crosshairs, like pull, the, when they pull up the gun, the cross, like it is, it feels much more real. Like there's like three dimensions to the the target. Like I, I don't know, it, it looked cool to me. So and I, I mean, love it, horror. It looked so. cool. The the trailer looked cool. Mm-hmm. My my only reservation with this is that. There's a million games that have tried to do this now. Mm-hmm. And like the last one, First Blood, I was really, is it yeah, First Blood? Um, really looking forward to that. And then it just kind of like yeah. Left for Dead put the bar up so high. That, Back like, when for it comes Blood to, was amazing. We Back played it. <laughs> I mean, it was fun, but like it kind of got boring pretty quick. But like Left yeah. for Dead, like that yeah. was kind of like the pinnacle moment, Left for yeah. Dead 2 or whatever. And then everything else since then, like, um, I guess. Uh, What's the other game with the zombies, but it's third person? Um, it's actually it's like oh. sur- uh, you can like build a base yeah, and everything. Yeah. Um, oh, I can't no. think of. Build a base. Well, Maybe it's you're thinking a different one than I am. Then. Well, it's uh, it started with the S, I think. State of Decay. State of Decay two. Uh, no. State of Decay. Um, like even that one. That one's pretty good. I, I like that one. It's a little more open world, but it's they still have hordes. They still have things to do. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I mean, it, it looks good. Yeah, but, I mean that. I'm yeah. sure none of that was actual gameplay. That's the problem. So. Well, that's yeah. some of it looked like gameplay, but but yeah, yeah. well, would it actually be gameplay? We don't know. But so far, it looks good. Yeah, um, I'm actually surprised you didn't mention the actual horror game that was released or talked about was Alan Wake too. Oh no, I, that was on, that was on my list. <laughs> so, like, I never played Alan Wake. I've always heard about it. Um, I have not, not played that, Alan Wake. But... Not that I never wanted to play. I just I just haven't played it. Um, it, it kind of rubs me that, and it's in that weird scenario for me where it's, it looks, obviously it's a horror game, but it looks yeah. almost adventure like survival that I'd be interested in it. Um, it, so there's that. <laughs> yeah. No, it looks uh, cool. Well, I, the whole, I, me and survival games, my, it, like we are polar opposites when it comes to that. Like, I'm like, Oh I got to build all this fucking shit and <laughs> like, give me well, a, give me a puzzle. That's why you might like this. Yeah. Because, because really none of that stuff is in the, Alan okay. Wake. Or, or the, the other game is, is if you want to look at something a little bit more modern, look at control. Okay. Yeah. Controls by the same people. It's in the yeah. same universe as Alan Wake. Uh, and the, uh-huh. yeah, it's in the same universe. And the whole concept is more of weird, supernatural horror oh i didn't realize that yeah alan wake is is very much that way and same with control uh and control is all about this this federal bureau that goes out and investigates these types of like anomaly okay and you know in control you're this woman and you you know your brother disappeared because of one of these anomalies back in the uh, you know, when you were younger, that's why you know about the, 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 the federal, uh, agency. And so you go there and you go into the, the old house where it's existed, which the hallways constantly are shifting and changing. And like you walk down one hallway and you go back and you're like, everything's different. Mm -hmm. Um, and like almost everyone's gone and you are basically the new director. Okay. And, so if you can fight, if you, if you're interested, pick it up on the cheap. It's, yeah. It's it it had it's a little bit of first person shooter, but you can also like turn down the difficulty and enjoy the story more type yeah. thing. Um, I think it's on Game Pass. Actually, oh, yeah, well, yeah it might be on Game Pass. Either Game Pass so or it might EA be really or whatever. It would be a really inexpensive way to find out. Do you because lo- quant, uh, quant quantum dreams? I think makes these. Quantum interactive maybe. Quantum Interactive, uh, Remedy be. Entertainment. Oh, Remedy, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. I think I think they made the 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 other game, which starts with Quantum. So, um, the other thing that kind of draws me to this game too, uh, and again, I don't know anything about Alan Wake outside of the name, and then I need to play it or whatever. But um, the part that I did catch of this video is the gameplay was of following uh, an FBI agent who's mm-hmm. like investigating um, <clears throat> serial murders. And like she goes into this like cabin, and it, and it looks super real. Like it's very realistic looking. Yeah. And and I love how they call her a gun, just service pistol. <laughs> like, 
I was like, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like there's a there's an element of like two different storylines you're gonna be following. There's you know the murder mystery part where she's like investigating a room, trying to figure things out, and things jump out and all that stuff. Um, yeah, looks the deer. Good. I'm, yeah, I'm interested. I'll uh, I'll check this one out for sure. Well, I mean, if you're talking about horror, probably one of the most horrific things was the <laughs> Dead by Daylight update. <laughs> Oh god, that's for not even what I thought you were going to mention. For a different reason. Yeah, I mean, because they put Nick Cage in it. Yeah. Well, they. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> they put Nicholas Cage in it, who, by his own words, and I'm and I'm not, and I I don't have the exact quote, but by his own words, he said, where he's playing a heightened, exaggerated version of himself who is this actor called Nick Cage. And he's one of the survivors. Uh, but, but the <laughs> horrific part that I mean is that <clears throat> it's interesting. They, they didn't show gameplay with, with Nick Cage doing any voice lines or anything like that. They just showed the animation of him running around, which did not look very good. <laughs> it was kind of very wooden. But I mean, I mean, it's I mean, that's kind of that game anyway. Yeah, that's it's true. it's not like yeah. hyper realistic models or anything. I think it's cool that that Nicolas Cage is in a video game. Mm -hmm. That's super awesome. Actually, if you guys want to check us out, check us out playing the game. Go click the link up here. We'll put it up there. There's a we played it. I don't know probably <laughs> last year or so, and it was actually pretty fun. <laughs> as as yeah. friends, but <laughs> the game is definitely like I'm surprised that game's still kicking. But yeah. um, Maybe actually, we try it again and. and Get some Nick Cage action. There you go. Well, I was thinking you were going to say horror, uh, meaning the Twisted Metal trailer they showed. And, oh, well, Yeah, God. but that's not a game. That is, ah, uh, that's terrible. Just save yourself some time. Don't, don't look for the trailer. It's <laughs> not worth it. Not worth it. I know you're probably excited about Fortnite, right? Well, I, I hold, hold on. That we can't just gloss this over. I can't believe that they did a Twisted Metal trailer for the show coming up because to be clear, to it's for the it. show, not the game. <laughs> yeah. And they didn't show any cars in it. I know. It was just... Oh, that's a good fucking point. And, and the fact that Will Arnett, like, yeah. because he came out on stage and was like, hey, guys, I'm here to show you the trailer for the thing. First and of don't all, get me wrong. I love Will Arnett. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I love but, like Will Arnett's really great. I like yeah, him. But, but like he's the voice of this like of Sweet Tooth, who's the the clown mask and this and it's not obviously his body. Like it's some big burly like wrestler looking dude with this mask on. <laughs> that wasn't Will but Arnett. It's, <laughs> but it's Will Arnett's voice and I'm just like, what the heck? And like I don't know. I just can't take this game or this movie serious show, whatever. I can't take well, it seriously. Will Arnett so. will forever be um Lego sure. Batman. Oh no, he'll be Job to me. <laughs> oh, he's like a bit. Oh, from uh, Arrested Development. Arrested Development, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, for sure. But he's also do -do -do -do. just the best. I mean, Lego Batman. Oh. Yeah, no, that's good. Um, I didn't know that till later, like long time after I, I realized. Oh, that really? For Batman. Yeah. I'm Which really good with cool. voices in animation. And I, my husband, and I like talk about it all the time. Like, I'm like. That's so and so. That's so and so. And I just I can't remember anybody's name. And I'm like, it's the person from the show, and they played this character. And he's like, what? And I'm like, uh, Will Arnett. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but so Brian, season four, or sorry, uh, uh season four of um, season three, chapter season three, four. chapter four of <laughs> Fortnite. Four Let's go back to that. Uh, looking forward to watching you play that for sure. Yeah, I'll probably check. Yeah, it out. I've already been riding Velociraptors. Um, yeah, I've been sliding around in mud, and the mud is is not only makes it makes it slippery when you're running around, but it also hides you from thermal scopes. Oh, they, so get, it's kind of like uh, like you know Predator, where he covered himself with mud so the predator wouldn't yeah. see. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I've been playing that. Uh, I've gotten. Three, four single wins so far. I almost, I almost never get a a, a victory, a, a crown royale or whatever it is where you victory get two royale. Wins in a row. Oh, oh, no, crown the, royale, victory got it. One and the crown royale is like two. Uh, oh, I've gotten geez. almost none of those, but they they've got um, Optimus Prime in here. It, nice. it shrunk down to to like 
<laughs> human sized, which is really weird. Can you? Does uh, he? But, does he turn into a truck? Like uh, or no, a trailer? No, like they, no. They okay. do not have that, unfortunately. Oh, because it's bummer. a skin. It's a skin for players to wear. Yeah. Um, you've got this like big cannon that you shoot people with that does like 110 points of damage. Damn. Uh, it's if you can hit, you only get two shots, and it's got a it's got a like charge up too. Okay. So, it's. It's got some interesting mechanics. It's got some interesting stuff in it. They really reworked trees in one part of it. Um, mm. Trees are actually viable platforms now that you can move around on instead of <gasps> you can the trees the tree. before you could land on top and you could shoot people, but you couldn't see what was solid and was what was not solid when you're walking around. So all of a sudden you <laughs> fall through the tree. Uh. They've reworked it now. So you know you're standing on something solid and can move around on it. <gasps> nice. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty fun. I played a couple hours of it. So I far. did see in Discord Expected. that you were playing it. It was like, I wonder if this is a... yeah, that's awesome. I mean, if Brian's online playing a game, it's Fortnite. No, yeah. no, that's not that's a pretty fair, accurate. Like I would say. I like mean, I've been playing Diablo Four recently. Yeah. Oh, did you pick that up? Yeah, yeah. I had that. I had that before it was released. So. Yeah, Tears of the Kingdom. Come on, play. Actually, I did get a notification today that uh, House Flipper Two. <gasps> it was released. What? Which I'm actually gonna check out probably oh. later tonight because it's uh, they reworked a lot of the engine and the way that you build, and they can actually have like I think they said that there's like uh, electricity lines now that you can place, so you can like actually hang lights where you want them, and they did like a whole thing. So I'm I'm interested in that. Cool. Strip the copper out and sell <laughs> just the. <laughs> yeah, you go rob. <laughs> Um, actually, speaking of robbing, uh, actually, Starfield, Starfield Direct, right? Let's talk about Starfield. Um, well, okay, if we're going to talk about Starfield, that's pretty much the last topic because yeah. they spent an hour talking about Starfield. Well, and... We don't have to talk about it for an hour. I don't even want to talk about it less. I'm not saying we're going to talk about it that long, but I mean, that's, <laughs> hey. that's pretty much going to be the last topic if we start talking about it. Well, Starfield, I mean, there's some other, really quick. I mean, I'll say some games because, like, I'm not, I mean, they look good and I'm excited for people who are excited about them, but I don't, I just, I'm not going to play them. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth looks amazing. Um, yeah. It actually, it says sometime early 2024. So if you're into that, that's super exciting. Like it's right around the corner. Um, Path of Exile looks 2. Really good. Yeah, Path of Path Exile, of Exile 2. 2. Like had different movement than I'm used to in a, in a Diablo-esque game, you know, an action RPG game like that. Um, it, and it looked like a heck of, an upgrade from the original path of exile. That's for sure. Yep. And, uh, the other it should one be free still. Right. The other one was uh, Spider-Man two, um, which actually brings in, it looks like it's bringing in, uh, miles. So it's like and venom and well, they have, so what they said, so there's miles and Peter, um, teamed up in this game. I don't know if you're going to play both or if they're just going to be, I don't know how that's going to work, but Peter um, venom is in Parker it. Parker. Can you hear me? But Venom. Can Parker yeah. hear me? No, he can't. No. Oh, Parker. Yeah. <laughs> um, but and he doesn't know his name that well. They um, said yeah, never mind. <laughs> Venom is in the game, but it's not Brock. Right. So it's it's, it's a symbiote. different yeah. It's the symbiote which can like connect with Peter, I believe it is. But uh, what one of the things I did hear is that you will be in the situation like perhaps you're Peter and you're on one side of the city and you find out something major is going on, and, but it's too far away and that you can then switch to Miles, who is closer, who goes and takes care of it from gotcha. my lim like rumor, limited understanding yeah. type thing. Yeah, I mean, they, they uh, he said that he said and it's not Brock, but he's like, that's pretty much all I can say. You'll just have to wait. And, and that yeah. was it. But it looks really <clears throat> good. I actually do want to play, like, if I ever get a hold of a PS5, you know, I'll probably play Spider-Man before I get rid of it. Because, like, I definitely want to play that game because it looks really good. But, um, yeah. all right, Starfield. Let's get this shit over with. But Starfield, to me, shit over with. I'm, I'm... Let's get this shit over with. Uh... I'm just, I'm just so tired of Todd Howard lying to us so much. I'm just tired of it. So, the game review our playthrough whatever they want to call it um looks great right like it, it's it's everything that we we'd hope it to be and i don't know the, the i mean i mean that's that's from your perspective it's it's 
five times more than I ever thought it would be. I could see that. I mean, you know. So my thing is, and and I've and I've talked to a couple of people about this because I I mentioned this and they were like, well, and I've read some comments on Reddit and whatever. But the main thing is, like to me, this game looks like it's taking a lot from No Man's Sky. And I don't care. Oh. I don't care if you say, oh, it's a space game. What do you expect? I mean, well, yeah, but like, like there's even like, like the, like when the enemy ships are flying and you're dogfighting, there's like a little icon of like a skull. And it's like the same thing from No Man's Sky. The cockpit looks the same, like not the, the actual dash where you're touching and moving hands and all that stuff like they introduced in Starfield, but like the flying, like the planets, the walking around the planet. I mean, well, the so, so scanner. In no, Man's Sky, I'm like, in no Man's Sky, when you're flying, is your reticle fixed to the center or does it move off the center? I I don't know for sure. I think it does move, though. I think like the circle and I think you have the like the little line that kind of points where you're going as the circle catches up. No, not up. where you're going. Literally, you do not have to fire at the center in this. It's more realistic shooting where it's not shooting at the center all the time you can actually shoot uh, a significant part off the center. I mean, because, see, that's that's what I think is, like, there's only so many things you can do with a space game. Right. Uh, I was not expecting dogfighting, but I wasn't too surprised by it either because, again, it's a space game. Uh, the dogfighting that I saw in this was more akin to X-Fighter, or uh, excuse me, X-Wing, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and uh, TIE Fighter games, especially with... Um, you know, moving the energy around and everything. Yeah, uh, that, that and, definitely TIE Fighter and, for sure. I can see yeah, that. Yeah, and having off-center firing, which was really cool. Um, but, like, you can board the enemy ship. See, that's the part that I'm kind of excited to see how that works. But that's what I'm saying. Is it's it's not a crib off of No Man's Sky. It's it's There's only so many things you can do with a space game. And you're there's and there's always going to be things that you're expected to do with this space game. And and let me be clear. I think clear. it's a really unfair comparison. Well, let me be fair. Let me be clear. It, I know it's not just No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is not the only space game out there. Elite Dangerous. I mean, you even have what Star Citizen and all these. I get yep. that. And there's a lot of like even Elite Dan Elite Dangerous. Like to me, the fighting, the combat seems a little similar to that too. But I get that. I mean, I'm not saying ever. I'm not saying they're. I'm not saying that they're copying a No Man's Sky by any means like i know they're I mean, not copying, what you said but it does look very <laughs> reminiscent it, it, it almost looks like and they can say this if they want or they don't but it looks like they're directly influenced by no man's sky like they took a, i mean to me I, it took a lot of that and i i didn't it. get that at all i think i think you've just played too much no man's sky i mean <laughs> the base building is kind of similar to it well but, like you can build Starfield's your own ships too, in though. this, which was yeah. totally unexpected, which you can't do in No Man's Sky. Well, building in no Man, um, Starfield too is modular. Like you, see, it looks almost like an RTS. Like they show you like top down, and you can like add the buildings you want, which is yeah. still interesting how yeah, they're going to work it out true. with like because because if anything, No Man's Sky stole some of its building from Fallout Four. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, yeah. shit. I mean, all, all that stuff came later anyway. <laughs> Shots so. fired. Yeah, all, all the jank. All the Bethesda No, jank. no, that's this, this what I'm saying is, like, no, you no, can't no, no. make a game without having it being similar to some I mean, other game, and that's not a bad thing. Uh, and there, what, there is definitely me, influence. Yeah. So absolutely. so speaking of games being not the original game, I actually learned today, which just blew my mind. There's a game that released on, God, what was platform? Let's see if it says it. On Atari ST, it was called Wild Wheels, and it's legit Rocket League. I don't care what you, you watch it; it's what? it's literally the Octane playing <clears throat> Rocket League from like 1990. Wow. So like, yeah. nothing's original at this point. Like, it's just crazy. Well, it's yeah, and it's not about making it original. It's making a fun game. And yeah. what what was insane about this hour long presentation about uh, Starfield was just literally kept building upon itself they they were like oh you're going to be in space and you're going to be able to go to these different planets and the different planets are a combination of procedurally generated and it's procedurally generated more real time so that even if i go to the same planet you do it's going to be different than the one you went to but then there's also the more handcrafted uh portions of planets or entire planets so that's kind of cool. And they build on that. And they said, oh, yeah, and of course, you know, your ship is going to be your home. And you're like, okay, yeah. And they're like, and you can build your ship any way you want. And I'm like, 
what? And then they're, and then they're like, oh, and you can crew your ship with you know different crew. Yeah. So uh, you know again something different than most other games out there. Well. And then and then they're like, oh, and on top of that, you can board other ships. And then on top of that, you can if you capture that ship, you can bring that ship back and add it to your fleet. So every time they mention something they expanded the scope more and more and more of what you're able to do. And that was before they even talk about building your outpost. I guarantee half of the stuff you just said is not going to be in the release. Uh, just going okay, on I'll Todd Howard, bet. just going from Todd but, Howard alone. Like, but see, that's, that's what that. you're, what you're missing is that Microsoft specifically had them delay the release. Oh, for from sure. What, from when, from when they wanted to release it, Far earlier than this. Oh, yeah. I, I think all of those things are going to be on the release. So, uh, put it this way. I'm going to play it day one because I have Game Pass. It's included. Yeah. I can't, I can't, not, I'm not going to pay for it. Like, I'm already, you know, I'm subscribed or whatever. But I just, if, I, I would be pleasantly surprised to see another Bethesda game get released that's actually a good Bethesda game. That would be amazing. If they can actually nail that. Because there's a lot of stuff in Fallout 4 they said the same thing. Oh, you're gonna have these people. You can you can have a civil a settlement and do all these things and have these people. You could talk to you and they, and then you get the game and you're like, what is this like? Wish is this Wish not Amazon? Like what is this? So it's I don't know. Uh, and then don't even get me started on seventy six. Like that that is just garbage. Hot hot trash, straight in the garbage. But I'm yeah. still my mind is still blown. I just watched while you guys were talking. So sorry. I love listening to you, but um, <laughs> I watched some Wild Bill's YouTube. And it fucking is Rocket League. It is fucking, but with more than one player. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> I know. It's crazy. I, I, I didn't even know that one. But yeah, um, some of the interesting yeah, things I, that they did talk I, I don't about. Think, I, I don't think their, their track, the, Fallout 76 had a lot of difficulties. But it, uh, but very similar to other ones, they were able to turn a lot of it around. I think that's what tarnished their image more than anything else. I don't think Fallout 4 was that Fallout far 4, off the mark. Fallout 4 wasn't terrible. Um, well, I wouldn't I, say it's even bad. Is, it was I, good. I'm not saying bad. I'm saying it wasn't that far off the mark of what they promised. Yeah, no, 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 for sure. I, I would agree with that. It, it was the beginning of the end, I felt like. Because, like, Fallout 4 was good. Um, I still haven't beat the story just because, like, I keep building. Like every time that I say I'm not yeah. going to build, I end up building. And then it's like, I just, yeah. I get stuck down the building train, never finish the game. But and I think one of the big differences is they have so much more resources now. I think they were building games on the tail end of Fallout 4 and definitely in the 76. They were building games that were too big for the resources they had. Yeah. And well, now the, they have the resources. The dialogue though... Um, and the story within Fallout 4 was very bland, like very linear. Everything was very, like, just I mean, start Bethesda's to finish. Bethesda's not ever been very good with their dialogue. Well, true, because, like, I'm I'm a huge... Skyrim is not, like, a masterpiece of, like, yeah. writing. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a big uh, uh, New Vegas fan, right? Obsidian. Yeah, like, yeah. Them, which was which was really good story made by them. Right, right, right. I get that. So that's what I'm saying. Like, But it was Fallout, like Fallout New Vegas, but... Yeah, well, that's um, what I'm saying. They just used the engine that Bethesda made, and if it, and if you're talking that yes, it had a better story, yes, because it wasn't made by Bethesda. So some of the good stuff that I <clears> saw <throat> from the trailer, uh, and actually I watched a I don't even know what channel it was. Somebody had a YouTube video about some of the Easter eggs you may have missed from the trailer. Yep. And so like apparently like Earth is not inhabitable anymore. Um, and they do show like no. a ring that looks like the St. Louis Arc and uh, Arch. Arch. And, but it's like desert so it's like that seems like earth is like not there and they had another scene where he was walking in to like one of these cities or whatever and it's like the preservation team mm -hmm. or whatever um so people are speculating that's like probably for to like try well, to recover was, earth <laughs> you know there's literally the line where someone says oh you're human we yeah. thought we were the only ones that made it off earth yeah exactly that's so uh... so there's a lot of hints on that and uh so there's that part that seems cool, like that there's the fact that there's like different factions, I guess you could say, that are like doing different things within the galaxy. Um, obviously, exploring I, planets. I do like, you know, I, I do like the fact that it's a space game and it doesn't have thirty different alien races in it. Mm, <laughs> well, so uh -huh, far, uh -huh. well, yes. there, there's there's none. Actually, and you're 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 finding you're finding 
evidence of aliens for the very first time. That's part of the main story. Yeah, because they well they have the alien creatures, but they're not like human. Like right. Human yeah, alien, I'm talking about I'm talking about sentient races. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, I mean, like, don't be wrong. I want to be excited for Starfield. Like, I definitely do, and and I'm I'm more excited for it. He'll end up playing the on... shit out of it. And well, we'll I'm hear more about excited it. about it now that it's on Game Pass, so I can I can just enjoy it. And if yeah. it doesn't work out, I'm not going to be upset that I spent seventy dollars because it is, and, and that is a fun fact. It is going to be a seventy dollar game, sixty nine ninety nine. Um, I think some of them, some of the companies are um, like the the distributors online are giving sales right now if you pre order it. Um, maybe like 10% off or something like that. If you're interested, if not game pass, will have it. If you have game pass. I mean, I, 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 for one, am not that bent out of shape that games are starting to be $70. They were $70 I mean, I'm not either. Like, yeah. Um, no, they were $60 for decades. decades. Yeah. yeah. Decades, and we've talked yeah. about that like, before. It needs to go up because there's so much more expensive yeah. to make now. Yeah. But I still, um, I still yeah, remember my, realize that. <laughs> my husband called me and he was like, Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm at Jersey Mike's and like, all these guys like my age are like hanging out. They're 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 lined up at GameStop. Like, what the fuck is going on? I was like, Madden just released. That's what's going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Madden just, yeah, Madden's out, and it's seventy dollars. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I, don't I don't know. Probably. It, this is this is uh, like two years ago, but yeah, it was it was yeah. yeah. No, it was like yeah, it's at least sixty five dollars. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I mean, Starfield. Go watch the video. It's like you said. It's it's an hour long, like presentation and they go through a lot of the gameplay they go through some of the mechanics they talk about they the ship right. building the base building um well, you get you definitely get to see a good bit of it they they also did the the good thing of showing you the things that you like about some of the bethesda games like being able to pick up a whole bunch of stuff yeah. or being able to collect a certain thing and like you know like the cheese wheels and skyrim or whatever and and, you know, still having some of that charm and, and they were able to touch upon some of those things, having the crazy, crazy like fan that runs up to you and is so excited. He's breathing yeah. the same molecules that you are. And then and then they implied that you're going to sh that that you have the chance, the, the ability to shoot him in the back of the head. <laughs> yeah. Like they implied that on the video. I was like, holy cow. It's a throwback to Oblivion. Yeah, the, uh, Elder is. Scrolls Oblivion. They had a character who looks just like him. If you look up the video, you can find it online. But yeah. same character, and it's it's a nice little nod back to their their previous games, which is pretty cool. Did you did you catch the very last part of the video though? That's the next part I was going to bring up. You talking about the uh, once they finished everything and it just shows the game cover and like the date and everything, like that no. part. Oh no, no I'm talking, talking, talking about gameplay. Okay, then you're talking about that. Uh, you know, speaking of nods to other games, because very much one of the things I kept thinking of it uh, through this wasn't No Man's Sky, other than the like takeoff and landing remind me of No Man's Sky. It was the only thing really a little bit of the base building, but not much. Um, I kept thinking this is Skyrim Mass Effect. Oh, see, I've never actually because never played Mass Effect, so I've I don't seen know. it, though. I could see that. Yeah. But yeah, because I, I've never the it. shooting is so they've it looks like and in theory, they've really improved the first person shooting this a lot. In theory, we'll have to see. But I mean, the fact that they're flying around on jetpacks and throwing mines down and then landing and hitting people with the shotgun type thing, you know, looked pretty cool. But the very last scene they show. Is a guy raising up his hand and all of a sudden four antagonists like. Mm -hmm start floating up in the air. I did see that. And it was like, ah, that's kind of like mass effect with like the vanguards and stuff like that, that have like, you know, the psychic powers and stuff. So yeah, that was interesting. I'll be interesting if that's like a late game thing because of the alien artifact that you're investigating or what goes on. So the very last part of the trailer, did you catch that? After uh, that? You'll have to take. So after they they do all the cutscenes, gameplay, all that, they show the black screen fades in. You see the cover of the game. They see the date yep. coming. You know, end of the year, whatever. Nine six. Um, and then they had a couple cards like on the side of that, whatever. And when it flipped, yeah, they showed the different versions. Right. So there is a first DLC for the story already planned yep. to be released. Yep. 
Like that was right. that was um, slapped at the very end. Is we already have a DLC coming for this game for for the story. No mention of price, but it just said it's already in the works. Like releasing this, like so they already have that. I think it's crazy, but um, well, I mean, like, I mean it's when, good, but crazy. That, when they were talking about Cyberpunk, they were talking right at the big, you know, right when it released, they were talking about their next DLC, and then they scrapped all that because of the issues. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's not too uncommon. I've seen that on a lot of games. Well, I'm just for... glad they scrapped it to actually fix the game, but but yeah. Well. So that is uh, Summer Game Fest. Uh, if you didn't check it out, there's a lot of videos on YouTube that people just you know streamed it, or you could just watch the actual one. And I think Elena Price actually, or Elena Price actually did a, a game review video while she was watching it live. Um, so pick whoever you want to go watch it from, but go check out some of these trailers. They're really cool, uh, and obviously we'll see you know what actually happens on these games because you know, some of these probably get pushed out, and who knows, but. Um, anyway, thanks for listening to us today. We really appreciate it. If, uh, if you uh, want to support us, check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash sasgaming. Um, if you want to check out a little bit more about us, www.sasgaming.com. And, uh, and add us to Twitter or uh, I don't know, Instagram or something. I don't know. We, have, we, we use that, that stuff. stuff. But, you know, people hang out. So. Oh. All righty. Well, cool. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Love you all. Be safe. And we'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.